Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Scotland appoints dedicated minister for negotiating with the EU in run-up to referendum. A UK poll discovers that 50% of Britons want to leave the European Union. The EU intends to commoditise and privatise water. Tory MPs demand an EU referendum lock-in pledge from David Cameron. Plus, updated EU report on human rights demonstrates how the EU is acting as a single nation on the world stage. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, Scottish Government has appointed Andrew Scott as EU advisor. This article reports on the new appointment by the Scottish Parliament as it prepares for the upcoming referendum on independence. This is a story that will continue to gather pace as the vote draws near. I have to say that at present I'm unable to see the benefit for Scotland leaving the Union of Britain to then surrender its sovereignty to Brussels. We'll keep working on the research behind this story and I will keep you posted with the findings on this channel. A new poll by Harris Interactive on behalf of the Financial Times has shown that 50% of Britons would vote to leave the EU. It's interesting that when one considers the demographics of the Financial Times readership, mostly financiers, political types and bankers, this vote is a gargantuan turnaround of sympathy with regard to the EU. Now, this article is something of a frightening thought. The EU is looking to mandate that water be treated as a commodity, and the Commission is apparently putting forward policy on water privatisation, which it has apparently hidden in one of its proposal papers. This was a thread that I recall reading about in the blogosphere a couple of years ago, and I thought at the time, surely not. They'll never get away with that. Well, it appears our kleptocrats in Brussels have that very intention in mind and are already trying to put in place the legislation. It appears that many Tory ministers don't trust their forked tongue premier. This article looks at news that Tory ministers are looking to get clear, legally binding assurances that the Prime Minister, David Cameron, will give the people of Britain a referendum on the continued membership of the EU. I wonder if perhaps something etched on cast iron would help. This latest annual report on human rights and democracy carries some interesting details about the intentions of our political masters in Mordor. I find it fascinating to watch the care with which articles and media is presented. In this case, for example, the legislation is double-barrelled. It talks of human rights and democracy. Interesting that democracy is a very broad term for a representational system of government and yet the EU has drawn the emphasis on human rights, a more direct issue that tends to be less challenged because of its thorny nature. Needless to say that a quick read through the bullet list of objectives and you will see that the EU has set itself the kind of mandate one would expect to see from a fully vilified nation superstate. Don't believe the EU is constructing a unique, independent superstate free from national sovereignty where its parliament and its laws are supreme? Take a look at this article and of course we'd love to get your feedback and comments. Today in our video library, Andrew, our awesome webmaster, discovered this very interesting video on YouTube. Here, John Perkins, an ex-international governmental financier, explains how the World Bank and IMF are used to conscript resources and nations. This is interesting stuff and certainly adds a new angle to a number of world affairs issues. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word program is active again. 
If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, get in touch with us via the word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.